right, guys and girls of World of Warcraft, Weasel Jr. here, and this is part two of Inscription using TSM. Okay, let's get started. First off, you want to open up your inscription. If it doesn't bring up the TSM window, then click the TSM button, and you will get a screen like this. If by chance you have anything queued like this does, hit Clear Queue. Now go to TSM Groups right here, and then select the groups that you wish to restock, and push the Restock Selected Groups button. Now you want to hit the Gather button, and then click the Start Gathering button. It will bring up the TSM Crafting Gathering window. You will see a list of items that you may need, and whatever tunes may have those items, along with a search for the Auction House. Close your inscription, and then open up the Auction House. Now make sure you're on the shopping tab and then hit gather items. TSM will start scanning the auction house for all the materials that it needs. Once the scan is complete, it will start to list the items with the cheapest way to make them going on up in price. Cheaper to convert Warbinders ink into the older inks like it is on my realm. Typically for me, I just make a bunch of Warbinders ink and then take them to the ink trader. But that might not be the case for you depending on what realm you're on. To buy something, just click it and then click the buy out button and then the, click the buy out button again. Continue doing that until the current source is completely green. Now if it's having you make Warbinders ink instead of the regular ink, you might have problems with the current source counting. If TSM is having you buy a lot of wad herbs, you may want to stop and make the Warbinders ink so that way you do not purchase too many herbs. Now that you have bought everything you need from the auction house, it's time to go to the mailbox. When you open up the mailbox, you will see that the TSM mailing opens up. If you see this reload UI button, reload your UI because you have a TSM error. Now open up your mailbox. You will see that the Reload UI button is gone. Many add-ons cause that error. The Reload UI button will also pop up if you have more than 50 mail in your mailbox. Sometimes reloading your user interface will be a lot faster to get your mail out of your mailbox than waiting for the 30 second to 1 minute countdown. Just make sure to collect all your mail before you reload your UI so that way you have 50 fresh mail. You can take and select what you want to clear out of your mailbox, either sales, buy, cancels, or expires. Right now, I'm going to click the open all mail. TSM will display what you collect from your mailbox, and also give you a total amount of gold that it's collected. TSM has brought up a destroying window. If it has not, type backslash TSM space destroy to bring up the destroying window. With TSM Destroying, you can mill herbs, prospect ore, and disenchant items. By clicking Destroy Next, you can begin milling your herbs. You can choose the order that it destroys by moving herbs around your bag. You can also move them to bigger groups so that way you can do full stacks of 200 or one stack of 82, simply by moving them around in your backpack. Keep clicking Destroy Next until all your herbs are milled. As you mill herbs, TSM counter will keep counting down. When it reaches to the point to where that stack is no longer good, it will move on to the next stack. TSM destroy will mill all herbs and all ores and disenchant all items in your bag. If you're a jewel crafter or an enchanter, you might want to be careful with TSM destroy as you can accidentally destroy something that you don't want to. Just right click the item and it will continue to ignore. Right now it is ignoring all Talador Orchard for me in this session until I reload my UI. Once you destroy your last item or mill your last herb, TSM destroying will close down and will reappear when you have more herbs or, or things to disenchant. If at any time you need to bring up TSM destroy, just type backslash TSM space destroy at any time and it will bring it up. Except for in this case, I have nothing that can be destroyed. If you look over in the chat window, TSM destroy will say nothing to destroy in your bags. Now open up inscription and you can either start crafting inks using the TSM crafting window and clicking create all or 
you can also take and click default and bring up the default inscription page and click create all or create the number of inks that you wish to create. If you are like me and hit the create all button and then AFK, you may want to do that in a quiet spot as many toys and other spells will interrupt your create all. Time for one of my favorite features with Trade Skill Master. Go to whatever profession vendor that you're using, open it up, and you will see that gather items turns into buy vendor items. Buy that and one click it will gather all the different items that you need that is in the current source list. We now have every item that we need in order to make our glyphs. Click the TSM button and you will see the craft queue pop up. All the items that we can craft are now green. If you happen to have an orange one like me, I do not have the materials to craft that item. To start making your items, simply click craft next. If it happens to be grayed out where you can't click it, then go up here to a green item and click that and it will reset the craft next button. Continue hitting craft next until you made all your items or until you have ran out of materials. Now if you have an orange thing and you look over here and it says visit bank for the materials. It means that TSM cannot craft because that item is in your bank slot and not your crafting tab. When you open up your bank TSM will automatically scan your bank and your reagent bank tab for all the items. Apparently it thought that I had the items I needed to make that trinket in my bank and upon opening it, it realized that it had old data. Another fairly common problem I have with Trade Skill Master is I will open up my reagent bank or how I call it my crafting tab and it will be black. I won't be able to see anything but I can still deposit items. I cannot withdraw items though. To fix that problem along with most TSM problems that you may incur, you simply reload your UI. If TSM gathering or the destroying window is blocking your view, you can simply click it and drag it anywhere you want on the window. If you want, you can hit stop gathering and it will close completely. To get the TSM gathering window to come back, open up your profession and then hit the gather button and then press the start gathering button and it will bring up the gathering tab. To sell your items on the auction house, open up the auction house. If this screen or any of these other screens are black, reload your UI. Click the auctioning tab, select the groups you wish to post and then hit post scan. Sometimes this area will remain blank as the scanning bar counts up. As long as the scanning bar is moving, TSM is working. Usually this will remain blank as the bar is counting up when you're posting more than 20 items at a time. Once it's done scanning, it will begin listing everything off and the post button will become active. If it happens to be red, it will not be posted. It will say some kind of error. Usually that means that your minimum price is below your crafting limit meaning you have to go in and manually post the auction or adjust your settings or you might have to up the price of the item that you're wishing to sell because at this time it costs more to make than what it is currently going for on the auction house. To put items on the auction house now you just hit post. You can spam click it all you want and it will continue to post it as it goes up. It will say something about confirming post and then it will say post scan finished. If you want to micromanage your glyphs or whatever profession you want and check to see if you're undercut, open up your auction house tab, click auctioning and then click start cancel scan. As you can see it says running scan and my page is blank as my scan counter is going up. This is normal. All it's doing is scanning every page and it's happened to be using quite a bit of memory in order to do this done scanning it will begin listing off everything that it's scanned for and telling you what processes it's going to do once you give it a command. You can also hit skip and leave an item up on the auction house if you desire. Now as I start clicking cancel you will see what I mean by outrunning trade skill master on the confirm. My cancelings are going up as it's slowly confirming the cancel of each and every auction on the auction house Open up your mailbox and if you have any other add-ons, TSM will mix with it 
and just click inbox and then go back to TSM mailing in order to read them. You can either select cancels, expires, buys or sales or open it all. If I have something in the mailbox like a big stack of stuff that I've sent to this tune for storage, I will click expires and it will open only expires or cancels in this case. I purposely stopped the mailbox from opening so that way it would reload and give you this error that I was talking about how an add-on will mess up the mailbox. Click inbox and then click TSM and it clears it right up and then continue gathering all your mail. Another cool thing about TSM is while you're posting things on the auction house or not physically moving anything from your bags, you can destroy. So you can browse the auction house and mill herbs or prospect ore. That will speed things up with your crafting and making gold by quite a bit. In patch 6.2, Blizzard will make it where you can mill 20 herbs at a time. I predict TSM Destroy will adapt to that new ability. How long will it take for them to update it? I do not know. You can even use TSM Destroy when your mailbox is resetting for that 50 count. Just make sure do not hit destroy next while the mailbox is putting stuff in your bags as it could cause internal errors. Some of you might know what I talk about when you have an item stuck in your mailbox. You can't remove it, you can't delete it, you can't do nothing. You just have to wait for the server to fix the problem on its own. Now as far as some of you might be wondering why I only make my crafting limit to one glyph at a time is I want to make a glyph, sell a glyph. And the main reason I do that is because of bag space. This is not even every glyph that you can make in the game and you can see that it took me at least two trips to the mailbox. You can quickly run out of bag space even with full packs of endless pockets in your bag slots. The number of glyphs is staggering. On some high populated realms people will take and make stacks of glyphs. They stack up to 20 but when you have 600 auctions waiting in your mailbox, that's a long time of sitting around waiting for the mail. Now that my mailbox is empty, I'm going to take and create some problems that you might have with Trade Skill Master and show you how to fix them. Now this is one of the most common problems that I come across that people who are new to Trade Skill Master run into. They get a bunch of red on the list and they don't know how to clear it. This is a crafting queue from all my other professions on my main TSM list. You can see it says tailoring and it lists the tune's name in red. It means that the tune that I'm currently on does not possess the skill to make these. If it happens to be green, say like with a tailoring, bolt of soul cloth, and this would be a tailor, but he does not know the recipe, it would be lit up either orange or green, but it will be doled out. You will have to switch characters in order to make that item. Now with this one, it is a skill that this tune possesses, but it is dull orange. I am simply in the wrong crafting tab. I need to open up the profession that can create it. Now it turns a bright orange. I can create it, but you can see I do not have the materials to craft that item, so I need to get them. Another common problem is when you're in your default crafting tab, you go to click the TSM button and nothing happens. Just simply reload your UI. As I'm making this video, I slowly understand why so many people take and make a reload UI macro so that way they can simply click it. I personally type it in every single time. Another problem I often run into, which is an add-on conflict, is I'll be going to look in the dungeon journal in the raid tab and it will take and bring this up and when I click loot, I cannot click a boss and see all the individual loot. I have no idea how to create that problem to give you an example, but it would take and be the same as if it showed all the loot right here and even though I click over here on every boss, this loot will not change. You simply fix it by reloading your UI. Another common problem that I have is I'll go to change a talent 
and instead of confirming to use a Tome of Clear Might, it will pop up an add-on error where I have two choices of Disable and Ignore. I don't think that is a Trade Skill Master error, but an error with the user interface with all the other add-ons. I have yet to narrow down what causes that error, but I do know that if you click Disable, it will just cycle through all your add-ons until you have none left and not fix the problem. To fix the problem, you just simply reload your UI. And of course, before you hit that reload UI macro that you're probably going to create because you're realizing how many times you reload your user interface, you want to click ignore and not disable any add-on because it will turn it off until you either re-log in or reactivate that add-on. Trade Skill Master is probably the most powerful add-on you can get to make yourself gold on the auction house. When I'm micromanaging my glyphs, doing constant cancel and repost scans, and then restocking whatever glyphs sold, people often think that I'm a bot on the auction house. In truth, I am just micromanaging and using the power of TSM to give me that advantage over all the other sellers. Don't forget, while you're posting your auctions, hit that macro I gave you for even bigger profits. You might have to click it more than once, but it works, as you can see right here in the trade chat window. That macro lists the mysterious fortune card along with the purple 5,000 gold winner in trade chat that people can see and click. And then you can sell more fortune cards by tapping their instant Dude, I'm going to be rich thinking. So check out that video and start making more profits. If you find this video has helped you in any way, give me a thumbs up. Or better yet, hit subscribe for more of my gold making tips and tricks. Now that you have watched me show you how to set this up for inscription, you can use it for any profession that you want. Just remember to watch your minimum price settings and your crafting prices as one typo cost me 75,000 gold in three days before I realized I had set something up wrong. I almost forgot. If you learn a new recipe and you need to add it to your trade skill master, click groups and then click create profession groups. This will add the new recipe into your profession crafting tab and then you can add it to any list that you want to add. Have a great day and thank you for watching.